Yo, what up? Bo leaving here, Kindle leaving, <laughs> as known as the grumpy camera woman right now. We need to come up with a nickname for you. <laughs> is Bala. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure. So today we're super excited. Um, we've been asked a million times on Instagram. Um, if you're not following us on Instagram, at Bo Levin, at Kindle Danae, at Feels Like Home Construction, uh, we'd love for you to be a part of the journey. We got apartments starting soon. But long story short, today is gonna be the day that we're gonna take you over and show you one of the flip houses we did, what we bought it for, um, the whole nine yards. You're about to learn about the whole experience. Yep, so we'll take you over there, follow along. Well, we're out here in front of the property. This house was actually sold, I don't know, six months or a year ago or whatever it was. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not gonna, all their stuff's out there, their cars and everything, so I'm not gonna film their house and I don't want them to come outside and see us, some creepers driving by. But I'm gonna kinda show you a quick little view of it, of the, the, the lot and everything like that. Uh, you can take a look. You can see out here, there's the house over there and then there's a lot behind us. So you know what we're talking about. Um, Kendall's gonna kinda walk you through of, we came about this property, it was an off-market deal and um, you know what, we paid for it. Okay, so to give you a closer look at the before, here's the front of the house before and you can see it was just covered up with trees, the paint was peeling, um, it needed new windows. Basically just a whole new facelift on the outside, which was pretty simple to go in and do. Right here, we just removed all the old landscaping that was covering up the front of the house, made it more open, bright, new paint colors, and brand new windows, which attracts a lot of people because it's just new looking. And then right here is the before kitchen. Um, as you can see, this house is pretty trashed, so it needed some new kitchen cabinets, some countertops, and paint, which we always say to keep it pretty simple. So whenever you see the afters of this kitchen, that's what we did. We just put in some new cabinets, kept it simple with the countertops, backsplash, flooring, and just made it a lot brighter in there to where it appealed to a new buyer to have more cabinets and countertop space. Okay, so here is the before of the bathroom. As you can see, the toilet and the sink are very close together. The door actually opened in towards the toilet. Um, it was very dark in there, very crowded. So in this house, there's three bedrooms, and you know if you have two kids sharing this bathroom, it wouldn't work. So what we did was actually had some space where that vanity is to extend it back and make it a lot wider in there between the toilet and the sink. And then we raised the shower tile all the way up to the ceiling. So kept all the plumbing in the same places. Yeah, and it was pretty bad honestly when we first walked in. Um, it was trashed. This, this house was a full gut job. Everything needed to be done to it. We stripped it down to the studs. Um, okay, so we bought this house for $24,000 and it needed a lot of work, so we put 50,000 into it, and that went into the framing, the flooring, the cabinets, paint, sheet rocket, I mean, it needed the whole nine yards. And so, we sold it for 110,000 by the time we were done for it, which it took us approximately how long to do that? Not, maybe seven months, six months to do all that. And so, by the end of it, we made a profit of $36,000. Yeah, and so on the as far as the flip goes too, you know this wasn't our full time our job. You know I was still in uh, doing real estate at the time. That's how we were kind of coming across these deals. Mm -hmm. um, we also had a, a food business here in Amarillo that was killing it, and we were doing that multi, about two days a week. So this is all on the side. This is all side hustle money. It was definitely not our main focus, but it's definitely you know if you know what you're doing when you're buying the house. So this area over here in this neighborhood usually goes for I would say uh, depending on the size of the house mostly average over here is about eighty dollars a foot I mean it doesn't it doesn't really change from there eighty to eighty five um, depending on your market and obviously some other areas that you might be watching your might yours might be two hundred a foot I don't really know but we just knew what this area sold for so we came over here and we we're like hey we're gonna offer like eight grand for this house obviously we didn't pay that we paid 24,000, but when she said the 24,000, we actually made them throw in this lot that I just showed you earlier next to it, which we valued that lot at like 10 to 12,000. So we knew we were paying 12,000 bucks for this house because we've got a free freaking uh, acre right beside it. And that was the coolest part about 
about this deal because we're like, yeah, yeah, we'll take the 24,000, but you gotta deed us the, the land right next door. So what we did is we sold that house, like she said, for the 110,000 uh, bucks. You know, we kept the deed of the land separate because we wanted to sell that separate yeah. to pocket that money. And then this house, we put the got the house sold, and the guy actually called us because he knew we had this the land next to his house, and he was like, "Well, I don't want y'all to build something on it, so we'll just we'll buy it from you." So we ended up selling the land, I think, for like twelve thousand yeah. bucks. <laughs> so it actually worked out perfect. We made another twelve grand on the deal. Uh, so, I mean, you're talking about thirty five, thirty eight grand on a flip that we're doing on the side as a side hustle. Like this was not our main business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in about half a year. You know, a, a big one I think too is when you're when you start out flipping houses. And you're just starting out don't go out and buy a gut job yeah don't do it because if you're not experienced in the business it, it's pretty hard on figuring out yeah adding up you know behind the walls and electrical and the plumbing and I think that's one thing that we would change now um, the first couple flips that we did when we first started we thought they had to be completely trash and we had to go in and just do everything to it and take out all the walls and do all that and now I think if we were to go back and get more flips we would just find something simple paint floor um, just little things maybe some new cabinets and that's really it just keep it simple and know you know how what you have to work that you might be saying well, wow I don't I mean y'all just made 35,000 bucks why would you want to change up anything well, you can make it easier on yourself. Like she's saying, if you go in there and you just paint super easy, you can do it yourself, save all that labor money on it, yep. throw in the floor. I mean, that that changes and will do wonders, especially clean up the houses. Most of the houses we buy are just trash. I'm like, all you gotta do is go in there and clean up the trash and that'll already raise it up by 5,000 bucks. Yeah. But yeah. definitely do not overpay. I see this all the time of millions of people ask us, not millions, but a lot of people ask us about flips and how to buy and what to do and stop overpaying and don't put emotion into the deal. Yeah. Do not put emotion into it. The the reason that I think you can be successful at flipping houses, the main thing is where when you buy it, you know? You make your money when you buy the house because you have to buy it for the right amount. You can't overpay for it. Um, and you need to know what you can put into it to make a good profit on it. Yeah, and we always look at the worst case scenario too. Just like she's talking about, we always, you know, we account, okay, well, most people look at it and say, oh, well, I could sell it for 120, not 110. Well, no, we wanted to be at the, the mid-range average comp for the area of the most updated house. So we pretty much took the house from, yeah. you know, shit to lit. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yep. So yeah, there's just a lot of little key factors that kind of play into when you buy a flip, what you need to put into it, and we're gonna have more videos on that later, but we just kind of wanted to walk you through one of the first ones that we kind of did and show you how much you can make off of a flip house because a lot of people don't know, so. Sweet. Yeah. Well, we hope you enjoyed watching the video. Make sure to follow us on Instagram. We got a bunch more stuff happening. And if there's questions you have, go follow us. Shoot us a message on Instagram. We'd love to help you out. Yep. Like so. and subscribe down below, up Woo. top, wherever it is. <laughs> Thanks guys, y'all have a good one.